Okay, the previous video I uh, showed you uh, what the effects are of my uh, neighbor's uh, LED deck lights. Uh, this video I'm going to show you the uh, deck light modules themselves and a, uh, uh, at least one solution that uh, is going to resolve the issue. So this is the light, it's a uh, Hinkley uh, decorator series and uh, it's a uh, what they call a wall sconce uh, but pretty much um, uh, that's the uh, that's the module. It's uh, 12 volts, um, AC or DC actually. And uh, yes, uh, I did try this on 12 volts DC, and it makes no damn difference. So, <laughs> if you need a video of that, let me know. I'll be more than happy to add that into the mix here. But uh, nonetheless, uh, so this is the unit here. Uh, this uh, mounts on the uh, on a deck poster on a on a vertical surface. And uh, whoops, upside down. Mounts on a vertical surface, and uh, there's a uh, lens that fits in front of cover, and it's got a little opening in the bottom that allows the light to shine through, shining on the surface, uh, whatever is uh, below it. So that that's the unit. It's uh, you know relatively small here, uh, just a couple inches by a couple inches, uh, but maybe two and a half or three, three inches. Or, and uh, the wires are uh, roughly uh, 20 gauge, uh, just standard hookup wire, nothing special about it. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, I'm actually going to power this guy uh, from a uh, just a wall wart transformer. This is a step down transformer, and I'm I'm just going to be getting nine volts out of this guy, but nonetheless, that'll that'll uh, suffice for what I need to do. And uh, the only device that I have that I was able to find. I was going to try to make a loop, but uh, sadly I don't have any coax or anything small enough to be able to make anything that would uh, work. Uh, so uh, sadly I don't have my junk box is pretty lacking when it comes to coax. So, uh, But I did find that I do have a MFJ RFI detector and uh, this little device here I think will, uh, will work just uh, just fine for what we're trying to do. And uh, right now it is turned on, and uh, you can see uh, this is only going to give us a relative uh, reading. There's no, there's no uh, uh, accuracy in this scale, so we're only going to use it uh, to see what the relative measurements are, or I should say what the relative uh, strength is of this interference. And, uh, but I think it'll uh, work just, uh, just uh, great for this purpose. So... Uh, You've already seen uh, in the prior video, uh, you know, there's no noise going on here. So let me just show you real quick the ID5100. There's nothing going on uh, except for a busy channel there on the right. But uh, nonetheless, uh, no interference, no noise, no S meter reading whatsoever. And over to the ICOM9700. And we can see that uh, a little bit of noise here tonight, but uh, it's not all that horrible. Uh, some packet stuff going on down there, uh, as you can see at the at the far uh, right hand side of the screen right there. That's an actual signal. Uh, this is um, <clears throat> some harmonics that are coming in here. These other this these these two vertical lines, uh, and I believe that one too. Uh, though that might be uh, FT8 or something. Uh, if it goes away in a second, we know it is. If it doesn't, uh, then it's just a harmonic of something else around here of which there's a lot of stuff. Okay, so um, let's get this guy powered up uh, so we can see uh, what we have going on here and then I'll show you what the uh, what the fixes are. So let me get this guy up. And uh, Let's uh, see if I can get this uh, this guy here so it's at a little better angle. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let me uh, let me get the light turned on here, and this is with uh, no chokes or anything applied to the wires or anything. No twisting, no nothing. So there we have the light is now on. You probably saw the meter peg itself. Uh, it's pretty much pegged. And uh, if I take a shot over here to the uh, ID5100.
you can see the interference is uh, is right there uh, back back again as I say and if we go over to the 9700 we can see the uh, you know the pulsating noise and uh, it's up there almost almost s9 now so and now uh, you know uh, I mentioned the last time, but uh, the antenna for this radio is uh, over 110 feet from the shack, and it's at about uh, 65 foot elevation. And the antenna for the uh, ID 5100 is uh, actually up on the chimney. It's about at about it's about uh, 25 feet uh, in elevation, and um, uh, probably about 25 feet from uh, here, or 20 feet from. Uh, where I'm uh, sitting. So that's the uh, that's what we're seeing now. I'm gonna uh, install this uh, mix 43 choke first, and uh, let me do that real quick uh, off camera here, and uh, then we'll I'll come back and uh, immediately show you uh, what the uh, MFJ meter is going to be looking at. Again, you can see it right now, pretty much pegged full, full, full scale. And uh, let me just uh, pause this guy. Okay, back again, and uh, here you can see uh, on the meter that uh, it's a pretty sizable reduction in that reading. Uh, so we're about uh, what maybe a 25 on the scale and it when when it was uh, pegging uh, over a hundred uh, on the scale previously so there's still a little bit of uh, noise uh, being radiated so let me show you that this is uh, on the ID 5100 uh, and you can see a little bit of noise uh, coming in through there still and let me show you on the Icon 9700. So we still have uh, still have some still have some interference going on here. And you can see the S meter reading uh, up here is uh, you know still S5 or better. And you can still see some pulsating in the uh, in the spectrum scope here. So let's go back and uh, apply the final fix. Uh, this I can, I'll do right here. This shouldn't be too bad. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the uh, mix 31 chokes on here. And uh, we're just going to put. Uh, just a single turn around there, one on each leg. Same thing on this side. Uh, everything in the same direction this time doesn't doesn't matter. Only the mix 43 choke seem to matter. So there we go. Uh, now we've got that all installed. Uh, let me show you the uh, MFJ meter here. And you can see now we're pretty much down to nothing. And uh, let me just uh, let me uh, shut the light off, and I'll turn it back on again. And you can see there's uh, there's no RFI being detected, uh, or I should say there's no nothing being indicated on the meter that's there. Uh, the ICOM 5100 shows nothing and likewise the ICOM 9700 it's just uh, showing the normal but again you can see the uh, S meter even though there's some uh, you know some noise going on here there's not uh, uh, nothing up in the S5 or above range uh, maybe a couple of random spurts here and there but nothing like before and notice also there's no pulsating uh, whatsoever in the uh, spectrum scope.
And we're looking at the same slice we were before. So we're looking at, uh, you know, between 144 and 144.5. Um, so we're looking at a uh, 500, uh, 500 kilohertz uh, slice of the 2 meter band here. So that's the fix. Um, it uh, works, uh, for me it works very well. Uh, that interference is gone. And uh, let me just uh, show you here. I'll just come back one last time and uh, let me turn the, uh, the light off. And same meter indication. And again, nothing here on the band. And nothing here either. So you can see it's pretty much the same as it was before. A little bit of random noise here and there, but nothing like what there was. Okay, that's one solution. Uh, may not be the prettiest solution, but uh, at least that's uh, one solution. I've tried uh, more things than I care to share uh, with this module and with uh, various chokes uh, wound this way and that way, 90 ways to Sunday. Uh, with wires twisted, untwisted, half twisted, and uh, I can tell you uh, that this this seems to work at least uh, in my particular application. And for for the number of chokes uh, in the style and mix that I have available to me, these I ordered, uh, bought these, had to wait uh, a few days, so that's why I wasn't able to get this uh, this video done sooner. So, anyways, nonetheless, uh, hope. Uh, Hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's been quite an experience for me, and I'll be uh, I'll be glad when I can uh, finally uh, uh, rid rid the airwaves of uh, of of the uh, interference uh, being generated by these LED lights. It's uh, it's a real challenge, uh, especially if you're doing weak signal work like me on uh, two meters. Uh, it's a real challenge uh, when you can't detect anything uh, due to the level of broadband noise that you're receiving. So. Uh, again, hopefully uh, maybe there will be another video, but uh, hopefully this will be the last.